Hi, and welcome to another look at what's new in Visual Studio Team Services. I'm Alex Nichols from the VSTS team. And today we're going to be taking a look at some of the new features that uh, rolled out in June 2018 for Sprint 136 update. So let's dive in and take a look. If we just take a look at uh, some of the features here uh, in the release notes, uh, I'll go down to the features list and, and talk about kind of through each, each area. So first thing you'll notice is, is we've got a preview of our new navigation. So I'm going to dive into that a bit more uh, in detail. But then over in work, we got new, new work hubs that build upon the new navigation, and then we bring the, the queries hub and make that generally available. Down over in build a release, you know, yet more uh, improvements and modernization to some of our uh, some of our UI. So we got a new build results page that is an example of that. And then functionally over in, over in release gates, if you use that for deployment, we have the ability to, to go in there and ignore our release gate. Let's say maybe you, you verified something manually and don't want to wait for it to complete. Over in package management, we've got some improvements to upstream sources. Uh, in tests, we got another, another example where we're improving the test tab to take in some of this consistent use consistent components across our UI so you get, get that experience as you, as you go across the service. And then in, re in reporting, we've got, we've got analytics views that we released recently, and we've got some more control here over, over how, much data, uh, how much data, we're picking certain dates that you get in. And then, uh, again, we're, like I mentioned, we've got some components that we're looking to bring broadly. Here's a case where we enhanced it to support a more complex scenario of picking and favoriting your dashboard, so uh, that's there as well. And similar, similarly to last, uh, last update, uh, we got some improvements to authentication. In this case, we've got some uh, personal access token uh, notifications here that we've improved. So let's start with the navigation. I'll, just, I'll actually just jump over to an example here. We've got, got an account. I'm looking at the, the boards hub right now. And right away, you'll see, you know, we've, of course, we've, we've taken the navigation that was across the top in this a blue bar and moved it to the left. And uh, well, first, first I, I should say, you know, how do you how do you get this? Well, as as the update's rolling out and we we flip the fle feature flag on for this and and it's deploying across the the rings of accounts, you'll get a you'll get a notification banner where you can can try it out. But let's say let's say you ignore that. Here's how you get back to it: you can go into your user profile, hit on preview features, and that'll bring up this uh, this panel here where you can turn on the various uh, preview features. So it'll, it'll be under new navigation. So you'll flip that on. Okay, so across the top, we've got uh, this, this new breadcrumb, which gives you a lot of control to go up or back or uh, really help you orient where you are. We've got, got the search here, again, where you can type in a search just like you're used to, but that's, that's handy right there. We've got this, which shows you, this, is, this helps you quickly get to your work, work that you're working on. So this could be work items, could be pull requests, or uh, just anything that you favorited across, across the different uh, parts of the service here, which could be uh, things like things like boards or build definitions. In this case, we've got the link to the marketplace where you can you know browse browse for more extensions or, or manage the ones you have, and then of course that user user profile. And one th other thing I should point out here is this is where you can get get more help. So this is where that is. You can report a problem, and make a suggestion, uh, right from there. Okay, so down down the left we've got. Got the project I'm working in, and here's here's where I can create a new item. So in this case, I'm I can create a new work item or, or a new query, and then and then they're aligned by the different areas that that we're uh, that we're used to here. So you can uh, you can go go within but navigate between the hubs within an area that you're in, or hover and get to a hub kind of across across the service that way deep deeper into uh, another area of the service. This is a Expand and collapsible. So one of the goals here is, is to enable the navigation to uh, really get out of the way and allow you to focus and provide high dense, you know, support high density of, of information. And I can even come in here. And one of the big benefits that we've been been talking about here is with this is you can you can actually uh, control which services are, are available within within your project. So in this case, if I if my project is really just all about managing work, I can flip. I can flip off test, build and release, and so on. I'll get I'll get a prompt to, to tell me a little about what what the implication of that is. But this allows you again to just uh, focus more, allow the navigation and kind of the rest of the project that you're not that you may not be using to to get out of the way. Let me go and refresh that. 
So that's the new navigation. So I encourage you to, to check it out. We're, we're uh, really eager to get your feedback in these early stages. Um, and we want to want to keep making improvements along with you. Like I said, we're making improvements to both navigation itself, but also content pages along the way. So um, looking forward to your help there. So then I'll go back to work. And this is where we're talking about the, the new work hubs. I'll expand this back up. So we got the work item hubs that was work work items hub that was available in preview for a while uh, and became generally available. This is where you can see just a quick view of everything I've got on a couple of common pivots like what am I following, uh, where am I mentioned, lots of filters. But then uh, one of the things that we've we've heard a lot is there's been some usability issues with what we had before, and we had one hub which is the backlogs hub. But it, it, although it was pretty powerful, uh, gosh, it had, a, it had a lot of features in it, which made it kind of difficult to get to the specific thing I wanted to uh, work on at a, on a particular time. So, um, you know, for, for me, as an example, I've, I've managed work with, with various teams, and um, I f often find myself in different kind of mindsets at different points in, in a given week. So. You know, on one day in the morning, I might be thinking about what the priority is and hey, what's coming up next and where should I stack rank these things and uh, doing that kind of activity and maybe parenting work items together and grouping them together, uh, planning them over, over a series of iterations, doing that kind of thing. But then a, di a different day of the week or later that day, I'm going to switch and I'm going to be thinking about flow. How's my, how's my uh, what work items are brand new versus which ones are kind of on deck? Uh, which ones are getting ready to close? How can we get those get those closed? Um, and then, and then of course, day to day or in a stand up or something, the team, uh, you know, we're thinking about uh, tasks and uh, just moving those tasks and uh, day to day. So we're we're on a kind of a task board. So um, now those hubs are uh, separate and more aligned with these kind of the different mindset that I'm kind of talking about that you might find yourself in. So if I'm managing flow, I'm in boards, right, left to right. Going uh, new to active resolved, let's say in this case, I've got a user story here. And then, and then I might switch later uh, to think about uh, ordering my work items. So that's, that's all about backlogs. In this case, you can, you can see these common controls kind of across these different boards about which type of work item in it, what backlog type or what type of work item in it am I using, be able to create new. Of course, we've got these filtering controls that we're used to. And then the, the, the picker, right? So I can, I can favorite things, I can switch between pretty easily and, and consistency, consistently across these hubs. So then over in sprints, of course, we've got the, the more detailed, uh, I'm talking about stories and tasks. So that gives you that uh, zoom in look where I can manage that and also where you, you plan capacity and, and you can manage your sprints. So in this case, we've got you know, defined sprints. You can create a sprint. So a lot to do here if you're, if you're really into managing your, your sprint cadence and the details of, of that. So then also in this release, we've got the, the queries hub that's, that's become generally available. So this is, again, you'll notice as I've gone through these hubs, we get a consistent experience where I can favorite and, and do all that. So continue to check all these out and see, see how this works for you in kind of this, this, next, this next set of, of experiences. And one other thing just to, just to uh, call out here is, is we still have this team concept. And it's, it is strong. So uh, here's one evidence of that where I've got uh, ability to you know, quickly come out and see uh, what, what, what's the board and backlog and sprint of the, of the team, who are the members, and I can, I can kind of quickly get an all-up view of, of everything that where, where I can go to see information about the team. So um, that's still a concept uh, throughout all of these. Did release a couple blog posts or pub published a couple blog posts recently, so encourage you to check out uh, Jeremy's post about the new navigation and uh, the new new work item hub uh, post by by Aaron there. Okay, well that's it for now. Uh, I want to thank you for watching, and uh, I r remind you that uh, you know VSTS is where you can you can plan better, code together, and ship faster. So again, thanks for watching, and go ahead and subscribe for more videos.